Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. Today we are going to be talking about one of the most OG Warframes, one of the most iconic Warframes, and one of the best Warframes in the entire game. And that of course is none other than the tank himself, Rhino. I remember back in the day when I was first playing and I actually got Rhino and built him for myself, he was an absolute beast of a Warframe that just didn't die at all. Thanks to his abilities, not only could he stay alive in any scenario, he could also buff himself so he could do even more damage. So today I'm going to be going over Rhino and his abilities as well as my personal Rhino build. So let's go ahead and talk about Rhino's kit starting with his passive. Whenever you fall a certain distance with Rhino, landing will actually create a shock wave that deals impact damage and knocks down nearby enemies. This isn't really the most useful passive ability out there, but it is definitely very fitting for this absolute tank of a Warframe. Next up we'll be talking about his first ability which I actually replaced with Grendel's helmet ability Nourish. This ability actually has three effects. The first effect is that all energy sources provide extra energy thanks to the energy multiplier this ability has. The second effect gives you viral damage to all of your weapons. And the last effect this ability gives is whenever you actually take damage while this ability is active, the damage will trigger a viral explosion and any enemies hit by this explosion are staggered and get a viral stack applied to them. And when you put one of the best helmet abilities on one of the best defensive warframes in the game, you best believe you can just straight up face tank anything in the game. Next up we're going to be talking about his second ability which is on Honestly, his most iconic ability, Iron Skin. Using this ability with Rhino grants him Overguard. This Overguard has its own base health, and your Rhino's total armor is actually multiplied by 250%, and it is then added to the Overguard. On top of that, whenever you actually activate this ability, you are invulnerable for a few seconds, and all damage you take during that invulnerable period is then converted into health and added to the amount of Overguard you get for the buff. The reason having a buff that gives you Overguard is so broken is because Overguard actually grants additional health protection and knockdown immunity. So whenever you get attacked, you lose Overguard or you lose health. And even if there's an enemy that can get rid of all your Overguard, guess what? You could just immediately apply the buff again after you lose all your Overguard. So essentially, every time you lose your Overguard, you could spam this ability and get it back, which is a really good way to make sure that you stay alive and a really good way to make sure that you can face tank any damage. And not only can you face tank anything thanks to the second ability, you can also buff yourself thanks to his third ability which is called roar this is honestly my favorite ability from rhino because it's just such an amazing ability this ability gives rhino and allies in range a damage bonus to all sources which is absolutely crazy because the damage buff is actually coded as faction damage and the reason faction damage is so crazy is because it's multiplicative with most types of damage in the game and the damage bonus you get from this ability is actually used twice when it comes to status damage so not only does faction damage increase increase the weapon's raw damage, you also get a secondary damage bonus that applies to damage over time from status effects. It's really fucking amazing. And on top of all of that, this is Rhino's helmet ability, so whenever you farm up a regular Rhino, you can submit him to the helmet and unlock this ability to put on any other Warframe. If you're looking to make your ability damage stronger, or your weapon stronger, or both at the same time, you can just go with this ability. It's really amazing. And finally, we're on to his last ability, which is Rhino Stomp. As the name implies, Rhino stomps on the ground with tremendous force actually dealing blast damage in a certain area and the moment he stomps on the floor enemies are then forced into the air and are kept in a slow motion falling state while they're in the air for a certain period of time this ability is really good for crowd control you could just stomp have the enemies float in the air and instantly kill them with any weapon you have next up we're going to be talking about the mod setup for the aura mod i got brief respite which gives you additional shields equal to a percentage of energy spent whenever you actually cast an ability. I got two Umbral mods, Umbral Fiber for extra armor and Umbral Intensify for extra ability strength. And to get even more ability strength, I got Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude, Amar's Hatred, and Augur Secrets. And then I got Prime Flow for extra energy and Prime Continuity for extra ability duration. As far as the Arcanes go, I got Arcane Energized so I have a chance of getting more energy on energy pickup. And then Molt Augmented so that I can get extra ability strength per kill up until 200 50 times. With the right setup, Rhino can face tank basically every single event in this game, Steel Path or not. You get a damage bonus ability for your weapons and other abilities, which just makes Rhino a really awesome Warframe in my opinion. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Rhino was one of the first Warframes that I actually built in this game, and I've loved him ever since. Let me know what you guys think of Rhino and my Rhino build down below. Before this video ends, real quick, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. I really appreciate it. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for me. Me.
with that being said thanks for watching